Hello and welcome everyone to this webinar from DAPWA Technology UK and Ireland. My name is Michael Lawrence, Marketing Director, and I'm here in our Maidenhead headquarters. I'm delighted to announce the launch of a new category of business here in the UK and Ireland. We're addressing the mature but much developing market of Intruder. We launch our wireless Intruder alarm system, AirShield. You've got me for around 20 to 30 minutes, and then I'll hand over to my colleague, Chris Flavel, our training manager here at Dachwood Technology. I'll cover the range and some introductions to the technology, and Chris will focus on the installation, configuration, and a little bit more on the technical side of things. As hopefully you saw when you signed up to this webinar, we'll be offering a great prize to a lucky viewer, and that's a full air shield set delivered to your office. If you've got any questions during the webinar, well, don't hesitate to ask as we go. We'll also have some time at the end of this webinar if you want to hold off till then. We've got a team here ready and waiting to answer your questions. So let's take a look at our agenda uh, for today. So one, we'll look at the um, intruder market. Two, I'll introduce AirShield. Three, we'll cover some of the key technologies that make up AirShield. We'll then cover why DAPWA and why indeed AirShield. We'll then look at where to buy. I'll then hand over to Chris to go through the techie bit and he'll talk a little bit about the setup and um, configuration and some real applications of the products. We then got a bit of Q&A um, and then we'll, we'll, we'll close off and obviously we'll announce the, uh, the winner of the prize. So let's first look at the intruder market with some data from IHS market. In the vertical sectors, the top three industries of housing, office buildings and retail account for 74, just over 74% of the total global market. Looking at the product types, currently the wired system is still the dominant system globally, accounting for about 65.7%. However, the wired system has negative growth and the wireless system has, in the converse, received rapid growth with an increase in the proportion of wireless, you know, accounted for less than 20% in 2015, 34.3% in 2020, and we expect this trend to continue. So let's take a closer look at some of the global and EMEA, Europe, Middle East and Africa market size data. Let's look first at the definition of these. So a traditional alarm service this is a system where the end user can only control the alarm locally using things like a keyboard or remote control. Event notifications can only be received on the alarm itself. If the end user wants to get event notifications remotely, they usually receive them through SMS or an email. Now a connected alarm service, this is an upgraded version of the traditional alarm service. With this, end users can manage, control and receive event notifications for their alarm system remotely using a mobile app or a website portal. The connected alarm service has been growing rapidly, more than doubling in size over the past five years. The Americas have seen the highest market share and growth in the service, and it's clear the end users have a strong demand for being able to manage and operate their alarm systems remotely. And we're seeing similar trends in the UK. This growth is largely thanks to the development and use of cloud services. The main focus is to improve the user experience of various applications. Both end users and service providers have high expectations for this improvement. The demand for hardware products, particularly wireless systems, is increasing. So let me introduce AirShield from Dahua Technology. The AirShield wireless security system consists of alarm hubs, wireless referral devices and applications for end users, installers and ARCs, and it complies with EN50131 Grade 2 standards and PD6662-2017, a compliance standard for the design, installation and maintenance of intruder alarm systems. AirShield is equipped with cutting edge technologies to ensure the safety, reliability and ease of use of the system. AirShield delivers simple integration based on standard alarm protocols. It also allows remote management for the end user via our DMSS app and Dulink Care. It enables real-time notifications and online monitoring. And finally, high levels of compatibility with video surveillance and video intercom systems. In summary, AirShield is 
easy to install, it delivers a stable connectivity, it has user-friendly mobile management, and has superior integration between video surveillance and door entry systems. Now, AirShield is a full range of wireless intruder devices to secure domestic and small commercial properties. All highly integrated with DAPA's installer and end user applications. From water leak detectors to door contacts, PIRs and sirens, the AirShield range offers a solution for many buildings. Let's look at each of the products in a little bit more detail. So firstly, the main alarm panel or hub of the system is this product, and it's this product here. With the new industrial design and advanced technology, the next generation wireless alarm hub is easier to install, communicates more reliably with peripheral devices, and offers more stability. Full integration with DMSS for end users and do-link care for installers brings you real-time notifications, control and management of all your devices, and you can perform remote operations and more. It comes with a 12 volt power supply and has a rechargeable battery giving 12 hours of life. It can connect up to 150 detectors from the one unit and has an open air range of up to two kilometers. There are three versions of full Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi plus GSM, and finally Wi-Fi plus 4G. Now let's look at the next device. If you want to add a further 32 detectors or extend reach even further, then you'll need a repeater. It can also be used to deliver a secondary path to further increase stability and reliability. Now let's move on to motion detection with our PIR range. The first is an advanced PIR which has a detection range of 12 meters at a 2.2 meter height. Battery life with two alarm triggers per week is four years and it has pet immunity built in to reduce any false triggers when the system is armed. The next one, the wireless dual tech detector, is an indoor security sensor designed to detect human intrusion. It combines passive infrared PIR and microwave technologies to enhance its capabilities. The device can sense human body movements and trigger an alarm when someone enters its detection range. By adding a microwave sensor to a PIR device, sensitivity and detection range increases, making it suitable for spaces with walls or partitions and even protected outdoor areas. Additionally, this combination reduces false alarms as it activates only when both the PIR and microwaves or sensors detect movement, minimizing interference from temperature changes or pets. Moreover, microwave sensors offer higher reliability in challenging environments as they're less affected by factors such as you know, dust, smoke and fog, ensuring consistent performance. As you'd expect from DAQWA, this PIR, our motion detector, um, camera is truly game-changing. With a built-in 2 megapixel CMOS image sensor, the wireless PIR camera captures snapshots in high resolution when it detects an intruder. It then transmits them to the hub. The PIR camera only takes snapshots when an intrusion occurs or a snapshot command is given by an admin user. Let's look a bit more behind the tech behind it. One point I want to mention is that an outdoor version is coming soon. Currently this is an indoor, outdoor is coming soon within quarter one of 2024. So the PIS sensor senses movement and immediately sends an alarm signal to the alarm hub using a radio frequency signal in either 433 or 86H band. When the PIS sensor detects motions, it activates the camera to take a quick snapshot within 500 milliseconds. These snapshots are then sent to the alarm hub using a different radio frequency signal in the 2.4 gigahertz band. The alarm hub combines these snapshots into a short video in MP4 format and sends it to a cloud service along with the alarm signal. The video comes from the alarm signal. Eventually, both the alarm signal and the video are sent to mobile apps like DMSS, Doolink Care, or third-party apps. The video helps confirm whether the alarm event is genuine or not. The system can send anywhere from three to 20 images with a range of up to one kilometer at 868 or 200 meters at 2.4 gigahertz. And let's look at some of our other detector range. Firstly, the glass break detector. This is an acoustic device, picking up noise signatures to trigger an alarm. The range on these is similar to other detectors in around one kilometer in open air. Secondly, our smoke detector. This can form part of a protected home and with split spectrum technology, false alarms are much less frequent. Finally, here our water leak detector for placement under the bath, kitchen cupboard, cellar, anywhere water might escape or collect. 
Let's now move on to our magnetic contacts. Magnetic door contacts, we have several models available. This wireless door contact consists of a sensor and a magnet that can be triggered an alarm when an armed door or window is opened. Two options of contact include long and short, depending on your installation needs um, and you know, the size of the door frame. Door contact plus, this model not only acts as a door contact, but also can detect if a door has been left ajar or someone or something has hit it in addition to opening. Now we have a full range of remote control products, starting with our keypad. This supports multiple users with passcode or IC card for arm disarm features. In addition, it can trigger two shortcut alarms and a duress alarm. Our key fob can rapidly arm disarm or trigger emergency alarms. Finally, we have two panic button devices, which can be easily be placed in the right location for customers. With accidental touch prevention, it helps stop false alarms from those who might want to play, such as little ones in the household. Onto our sirens. We have both internal and external siren or alarm box products. Our internal siren delivers loud alerts within the building to act as a deterrent or warning to those indoors. It can also be configured as a doorbell when the system is disarmed. Our alarm siren alarm box delivers a loud alarm. It's IP65, it can get up to two year battery life and it can be powered um, through a separate, separate power supply. And uh, this is an example here. Now let's take a look at some of the key technologies that underpin the DAHWA AirShield wireless system. It's advanced, stable and reliable thanks to these neat technologies. First one is Airfly 3.0, second one is RF HD, and the final one is cloud apps and connectivity. So let's look at each one in turn. So let's look at Airfly 3, first of all. This operates in the 433-868 megahertz range. It delivers frequency hopping to ensure a stable connection. It delivers two-way communication between the hub and detectors and detectors back to the hub. Majority or commits from the hub to detector to ensure health and ensure alarms are triggered quickly. It also offers super long range transmission with up to two kilometers in open space. For our range, it's one to two kilometers for the detectors. Clearly there'll be some attenuation in buildings with walls depending on construction. Finally, it's secure using AES128 encryption to ensure the alarm signals are protected between the hub and peripheral devices. So now onto RF HD. It operates at 2.4 gigahertz and features fast transmission time and higher image resolution passing from detector to hub. Now Dakwa has evolved significantly with the cloud and Airshield benefits from three important tools. DMSS, Dakwa Mobile Security Surveillance, allowing an end user to see alarms and receive real-time alerts. Dulink Care, Recently launched here in the UK and Ireland and currently benefiting from a free trial running until the 30th of September 2024 and forever free for up to 64 sites. The key benefit here is for the installer. You can pre-configure AirShield remotely before a site visit to make your customer's installation experience even easier. And the final one is Converter for Arcs. Well, this app enables the connection between our hub and Arc systems. And I'll talk about that a little bit more in a second. So there are two ARC connection methods using AirShield. Converter is a software that forwards events generated by the DAPWA security system to the ARC platform according to standard protocols such as SIA, SirGuard, or another private protocol on the platform itself. It's hassle-free. All the panels and events are managed on the converter. Staff in the ARC can configure event forwarding method protocols and event types as needed while the platform software only needs to receive, record, and process these events. It's highly compatible. In order to increase compatibility with more platforms, the converter not only supports multiple standard protocols, but also supports customization of private protocols for different platforms. And finally, it's connected. With the converter, Dapwa can display the ARC's information on the user's installer's mobile app making it easier for them to monitor their applications and allowing further business growth for them. 
The second method uses SIA DC09. This is a standard protocol widely used in the alarm monitoring industry. Based on this protocol, different brands of control panels can be integrated with different platforms to enable functions such as event receiving, visual alarm verification, and remote arming and disarming. It's simple. There is little to no development required to complete integration. It's fast. There's only a few configuration steps required to integrate the device to the platform software. It's convenient. The SIA protocol is an industry standard protocol supported by most alarm monitoring software providers. You know, and expect to hear more from us over the coming uh, weeks and months with the integration with some of the main platform providers out there. So one of the key differentiators of AirShield in the level of integration, which you'd expect typical intruder systems communicate one way with video intercom and video surveillance systems. Well, the DAWA system works two-way with tight integration. Associate a detector with a camera, and when an alarm is triggered, the end user will receive video feeds as well as the alert in real time. Connect to the DAWA door entry system, and you can arm, disarm, and engage via the indoor panel, the VTH. Add to this DMSS and do link care, and it becomes increasingly compelling. Well, this is about as technical a diagram you're gonna see from me in this webinar. Here's a basic system topology. The AirShield hub connects via the ethernet or Wi-Fi to the router. The customer's cameras, indoor monitor and video recorders are also connected to the customer's network and out to the cloud or directly to the customer's DMSS. The detectors are connected via AirFly or RFHD, sending signals back to the hub when an alarm is triggered. Should the customer require an ARC, it can be connected via connector or via the SIA DC09 protocol I mentioned a minute or two ago. So, why AirShield and why Dahua? Why choose AirShield? Why choose Dahua? Well, the system is easy to install. Add DoLink care and it's even easier for your installers and your customers. The AirFly and RFHD technology is super stable. Devices such as the hub can also be connected by ethernet to provide additional resilience and stability. The DAWA system, as you'd expect, is super integrated, not only with the AirShield range, but door entry systems and video surveillance. Our apps are easy to use. DMSS for end users, DoLink Care for installers, and Connector for ARC integration. We've invested a lot and will continue to invest in our software to enhance you and your customers' um, experience. Here in the UK, we have a team dedicated to serving our customers and local support is absolutely key to that. And finally, it's available. It might seem like a moot point, but our fantastic distribution partners have stock in the UK and Ireland. We're busy working to ensure we can meet the demands and look forward to the challenge. So now why Dahua? We thank you for putting your trust in us. Our growth has come from your growth in this market. Innovation is central to what we do. We're at the forefront of technology advances and of our 23,000 employees, over 11,000 are in technical development roles. We invested over half a billion dollars in 2022, um, similar numbers in 2021 and before. The quality of our products is second to none. World-class manufacturing and vigorous testing ensures we deliver the highest quality products with leading price performance. Our technology advances set a standard others follow. Dahua delivers innovative customer solutions to the security industry using the latest AIoT technology. Artificial intelligence is embedded to offer highly valuable features and benefits. Cybersecurity is incredibly important and Dahua technology plays an important role in the protection against risks. Dahua is committed to the highest standards in cybersecurity with certification from TUV Rhineland, ISO 27018, ISO 27701, where DAHWA was the first enterprise in the global security industry to acquire this certification. Now, sustainability. We take our commitment to the environment and sustainability very seriously. If you do get a chance, take a look at our ESG report. It's published on our website. If you want to get a copy, let us know. We can send it across to you. Um, DAHWA has adopted the highest levels of safety and environmental standards. And you know, a few examples of that, we've got green packaging design, which hopefully you're seeing through and many carbon reduction initiatives. 
Now finally, and critical to our success, is support. Dakwa invests heavily in the UK and Ireland to support our customers and marketing growth. Our growth is through our customers' success. So where do you buy Dakwa technology products? Well, head to the URL on the screen here or scan the QR code. Our partners cover the whole of the United Kingdom and Ireland and we're very keen to help to ensure you receive the products quickly and safely with excellent value added support. Well, this brings my slot to an end. I'm gonna hand over to Chris Ravel, our training manager, who will guide you through the products and some installation and configuration. So over to you, Chris. Okay, Michael, thank you for that. Okay, so it's over to me now to take a look at the technical elements of the AirShield technology. Now, I installed the product in my house. I've had it for two days, and I can say already that I am overwhelmed with its performance. I have been blown away with the features that the product brings. I've installed many different intruder alarm technologies over my past time, and of course, I can see we are definitely onto something with this new technology integrating with all of our previous technologies such as cameras, intercom, general video surveillance, and of course, obviously now, detection. AirShield is gonna be our new product range for intruder technology. The first product, the hub, okay? The thinking machine behind your intruder detection. So on the actual hub itself, we have various different network connectivity options. So of course, first of all, we have the RJ45 for a physical network connection. But then at the same time, we also have a dual SIM backup. One of the SIMs will be on standby while the other SIM will in fact actually take over in the event that your physical connection goes down. Also, with the internal frequencies of the device, we support 886 megahertz to your other DAWA intruder technologies, and it also gives its own 2.4G Wi-Fi to the camera PIR. Now, the hub has a lithium battery that will support a 12 hour idle time on the inside of the device. So if we do lose our connectivity completely, no power, no ethernet, then of course we can back up on the 12 hour power supply and the dual SIM communication option. Now, the AirShield technology is cloud-based technology for update and control. So this time on your DMSS, click on me in the bottom right corner, create yourself an account and have yourself your own cloud account. You won't be able to add a AirShield product to DMSS locally only. This time we need Dower improved cloud services. Now, if you do get an AirShield kit, it will come with the hub, the PIR detector, the door contact, and a single key fob for arming and disarming the system. Now, the AirShield wireless PIR camera. Now, whenever I installed this camera here, I can see that there was a couple of installation parameters. First of all, this particular cam, this particular product, because of its live view, requires to be installed on a flat surface. So, of course, not in a corner mount this time. So, of course, it wants to be able to get a good view of the scene. Now, the actual product does come with its infrared, it's got its PIR, and then of course, obviously, the camera. Now, this can't be mistaken for your regular video surveillance camera. So you can't use DMSS and log in and see this camera because obviously then the battery life will shorten massively. The battery life of the product has been set up for four years. Now, of course, that means you will be able to do very many video motion detection events in the event of the actual device being triggered and you've got a four year lifespan. Obviously continuous camera viewing will shorten that time down. So that's why we don't allow that on the DMSS app. Now, whenever you actually have your system armed and then of course somebody comes into the field of view, then of course motion will be detected and it will be sent to you in the form of JPEG images, high definition JPEG images furthermore. There will be anywhere between 60 to 20 depending on the configuration that you set and of course your hub will in fact actually join those JPEG images and send it to your DMSS app almost like a actual constant video. It's based on about two frames per second. So when you actually see the video motion detection event, you press on play and it will show you two images, two frames per second apart. And then of course, obviously the quantity you can decide yourself. Now, 
because of the actual camera module, then of course it allows you to in fact actually reduce any false alarms, if any anyway, because you can actually see what's happening within the live video view. So of course, obviously it does have a certain level of pet immunity within the actual technology. And of course, in this case here, once again, you have the ability to see what triggered the actual alarm. The AirShield PIR detectors. And so these particular devices can be mounted in two different ways. It could be flush mount to the actual wall or it can be corner mounted and of course obviously monitored a complete field of view. Now on these particular devices they both come with temperature detection. They both come with pet immunity. They have about a four year battery life on the inside of the actual capacity and whenever testing the actual product you of course of course can configure your entrance and exit delay time. So you just go onto the DMSS app, give yourselves 10, 15, 20 seconds to get out of the field of view and then of course give yourselves another 10 or 15 seconds to get in and of course obviously if you precede that time well I guess the alarm was siren. So nice and easy PIR detectors. Okay now the AirShield product range also comes with the door contacts so as you would suspect but there are two different door contacts. You've got your uh, your standard wireless door contact battery operated and of course you also got your door detector plus. Now the difference between the two devices is that on the door detection plus it also has a vibration sensor. So of course if you were to rattle the door, make a dent on the door, kick the door then of course on your detection plus then of course the alarm will go off. It would almost be like like a, a door tamper scenario. Now one unique feature that I found with both of these devices that I haven't seen on too many other intruder detection systems is that if I arm the system with a door open, the actual mobile app states a door, the utility door, the front door, the door is open. Do I want to go check it or do I want to continue arming it? I have done other intruder alarm systems when the door is clearly open and it just let me arm it. It didn't even take into account that fact that the door was already open. But in this case here, these devices do. Now, on both sets of them, they also have the temperature detections built in as well. So of course you can utilize your temperature detections. Some people have utilized this whole temperature detections in, you know, intruder technology because it does support under and over alarm. So of course obviously if you set the alarm to be anything more than 40 degrees and it gets higher, the alarm will go off. Why could that be? Maybe there's a problem in the residence. Okay, door contacts. Okay, so the AirShield wireless siren. Now there was two things that interested me about the wireless siren. Now when I tested this, it wasn't so much about loud because I've done lots of intruder alarm systems and of course they've been loud before. Loud just, you know, makes you more alert, you know, makes you, you know, scare the hell out of you and then of course you leave. However though this time, yes it was loud, but it was the frequency of the loud. So of course like even whenever I actually shut the actual system down, I thought I could still hear it. So of course it's the frequency that goes off and of course like you know my ears they will be dull now to like a high to a high uh, frequency sounds however though the children will not so whenever this actually went off all of them they had you know hands on heads and all sorts just to in fact actually try to hide from this sound so of course it's the frequency of this device that is massively over alertive and of course obviously a great perimeter protection. I wouldn't want to be in the room any more than five seconds with this going off at any one time, no chance. Soon as this goes off, I'm out of there. This is the frequency of this device that was the real unique selling point. The other bit that got me, cause obviously it's just an internal chime, you know, every other manufacturer has one of these, but this one here also links to your door contacts. So whenever you actually open up the door, you can go into the mobile app, click on the actual chime feature. And then of course you can just select um, between three different all audio volumes and you can just say, right, if a door, uh, door contact is broken, just hit the chime, it makes a sound. And then of course for everybody else that's in the building that's in earshot of this, you know that a door just got opened. Handy technology. 
Now, the AirShield wireless keypad, I did actually enjoy installing this one because it comes on a flat mount bracket to, for you to install, but um, the backlight settings was great. The second that you even touch it, then of course it illuminates completely, and then of course you've got the single button arming and disarming. You also get these fancy fobs that come with it, so of course you can just hold it over, and of course arm and disarm. However though, on the actual keypad, yeah, just a single touch, it all illuminates nicely, and then of course you can put in your pin code arm, disarm, or go for single button arming and disarming through the configuration of the DMS app. This was quite fun to install this one. Now, the AirShield does come with a key fob. If you actually get a wireless alert kit, then of course, not only will you get the hub, you get one PIR detector, one door contact, and one key fob in the actual box. The key fob can be used for a couple of things, arm, disarm, SOS. Okay, so the wireless panic button. Now the wireless panic button has two buttons with a LED illuminator in the middle here. You can decide what you want it to do. Do you want to trigger the internal and external siren? Do you want to just trigger the external siren for 20 seconds, so on and so forth? So of course, two button wireless panic button. AirShield does in fact actually come with the brake glass detector. It comes with an adhesive sticker on the inside of the box. Put that actual on the device, hold that on for a couple of seconds on the actual glass, and then of course when the system is armed, if there is any breakages, then of course the alarm will be triggered immediately. Okay, the AirShield external Wi-Fi siren. Now, this device um, is battery operated, can also be powered by DC. Uh, from an installation perspective, when you're actually installing the box, there is a built-in bubble meter so of course you can actually verify the actual the actual device is on the wall correctly and straightly now it's got its illuminator on the front to be able to illuminate whenever the alarm has been triggered or is triggering uh, this was a new one for me uh, the external siren can also be configured for chime control so whenever a door is opened a external siren will in fact actually do the chime I did never seen that one before also at the same time you can do a base on chime for arming and disarming now one of the things that was overwhelming during my weekend testing is it states that it's a 110 decibel siren i'm quite confident it was a lot more than that because we had to put this in a cupboard to test it it really is that loud so of course whenever the alarm was to go off and of course you had that high frequency sound it was a real eye opener if that was going off in the street you will be eyes round head round taking a look what's going on there and of course in this case here it will make you alert incredibly quickly Okay, so the wireless external siren. We very much appreciate you taking the time to join this webinar. We'll make it available to watch again. If you have any questions on the range, or if you want to talk to our sales team, please contact your local representative or email sales.uk at dahuatech.com. You can get the latest brochure for AirShield also from tinycc slash AirShield.